How are you doing, beautiful people? It is your sister at heart. My name is Princess Sanja, and I am here again. It's been a long time, actually. I'm here with the psychological video. This video is going to be telling you more about parents who are narcissistic. Specifically, in this case, I'm going to be talking about a narcissistic mother. I'm going to give you eight, if not nine. Yes, I'm going to give you eight signs that you are dealing with a narcissistic mother. And I'm going to then, uh, later on, at the end of the video, give you some tips and techniques that you can use to actually safeguard yourself. Because most of most of the time people who are actually having parents who are narcissistic they actually tend to be embarked which is totally the opposite of the narcissist because they're trying to fix what they are seeing because they can tell that there's something that is not right here but they just don't know what is it exactly so it's either they want to be empaths meaning they want to be giving with that limit or they will also become narcissistic okay so let me just go straight to the video without wasting any more time so the first thing that's going to happen when you're dealing with a narcissistic mother is that they will rob you for your, they will actually rob your childhood from you. What do I mean by that? When they rob your childhood from you, they will start treating you as if you are an adult, meaning that they will have conversations with you which have nothing to do with you as a child. They might tell you about maybe your father or other family members who are in the family who have done them wrong, and they will tell you deep stuff that they're not supposed to be telling you as a child. So you will grow up resenting these people because she is actually feeding you all this information. So you will automatically, as a human being, also develop negative feelings towards these people because you You've been groomed and taught and told all these things which are bad about that particular person so they will make sure that they either they vent on you they tell you their problems when you are very much young or they talk about other people who they don't like in the family so they will be like having negative things that they say about other family members to you as a child so you grow up automatically when you are damaged basically <sighs> The second thing that a narcissistic mother will do is to compete with you. What do I mean by that? When you get something, they'll want to get it. And it's not because maybe they, 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 they like it and it is something they always wanted, but it will just come in a very unfamiliar way. Like as soon as you have it, they will also want to have it themselves. And that will also, if you pay attention, will also come to a point where you realize that there's something not right here. Okay, let me make an example. Let's say maybe you are an adult person. You are dating this fine guy and you're having a conversation with your narcissistic mother. Maybe you are telling him, you're telling your mother that actually um, things are getting serious with my lover. So he might propose or I think we're going to get married soon or something like that just to give a head, heads up as your mother. So she might say something like maybe if she's single, if she's a single mother who's not seeing anyone at the moment or maybe seeing someone but they're not married yet, she'll say things like, oh, please don't get married before I do or wait for me first um, and stuff like that. You know, she will not show that she's happy for you or she will change the whole topic and make it about herself. So that, my friend, you know you are dealing with a narcissistic mother. So the third thing that you have to look out when dealing with a narcissistic mother is that a narcissistic mother will always show favorism amongst her children. And it's going to be so clear to see. So if you pay attention, you will notice that there's always that one child, no matter what they do, they always get away with it. And no matter what bad that they do or things that you know that if you are to do them, it will be a story of the whole village or it will, some, it will be something you'll be reminded of over and on, over and over again for a length period of time. But if it's this particular sibling who she feels uh, is her favorite, Things will just go easy for her. I feel like my vase wants to fall. You know, things will go easy for her. She will always have uh, excuses for her as to why she's the way she is. Uh, she might use spiritual talks into making excuses for her. She might say that maybe your sibling is actually possessed, or she will say whatever that she she she, she will find. Um, available at the time just so that she can make an excuse for the sibling. And let me give you a reason why narcissistic mothers do that. Narcissistic mothers actually have favorite siblings, I mean children amongst their children because they are different types of children. They are children who can see the truth, okay? They are children who can look at their mothers and say, you know what, but to be honest with you, 
this is just the way it is it's one two and three so they don't like those kind of children because they, they see that you are seeing through them that you are seeing what they're doing but those ones who always like you know vibe with them and they don't have they don't challenge them they don't have any questions to ask for them so they are their favorite because you know they don't kind of put them in a spot or in a corner so it's kind of easy to live and vibe with them so but if you're kind of a person who's very observant and you you don't take nonsense they definitely not gonna like you for that reason and also narcissistic mothers they tend to love their sons so much more than their female children and that is because they find that female children sometimes they feel as if you know they kind of steal the sunshine from them or if maybe the female children are doing quite better than she was when she was in the same age as the female child she kind of feel like you know you're just trying to think that you're better or something like that so they don't think like a normal person they always like see things in that manner so they will always show favorism among their children and that's just what they do okay um another thing that the narcissistic mother will do is to play a victim all the damn time all the damn time so every time when there's like a conversation that is happening or maybe you're having a conversation with her you're talking about something that had happened maybe to you or to someone else maybe in the family or a close friend of yours she will jump in as soon as she can to actually talk about her suffering also she will not dwell so much on other people's stories as to what they're going through she will also not show sympathy as much as you would expect you know or as much as you do because when you tell a story to someone of an, a misfortune of someone that is close to you, you kind of talking about it in a in a from a place of empathy that you feel sorry that they had an unfortunate situation. So your narcissistic mother will not see it that way. It will be as if now you want to shift all the attention. You want to help this person, but she always wanted to be for her. So she will find an opportunity sooner or later in a conversation to actually turn it to be about her. She would say that she's not feeling well. She hasn't been feeling well, or she has it. She doesn't have money. She will tell you about her sufferings of which you know it's something that she always says and talks about, and it's always something that she always says you know it's it's always a problem that never gets solved like she's sick but you don't know what she's sick for maybe you even take her to the doctors but they don't find nothing or maybe when you do take her to the doctors and she get medication she actually doesn't use it also that is a sign that this person might not be sick is just seeking for attention because they feel like they should be playing a victim all the time so that all the attention comes to them you're dealing with a narcissistic mother then in that case Okay, so another thing that narcissistic mother will do, since we were talking about favorism of, amongst the children, so they will always choose a child that is the most successful so that uh, they can benefit from it. It might not be the child that is their favorite, but if they feel that they can benefit from this particular child, they'll try by all means to make sure that they cling to that child closer. And usually all these things they do, playing a victim and competing, they do to those children that they don't like the most, those who challenges them. So they do, they play these dirty tricks on them so that they can benefit from something. So if you are a child who's a very vigilant, observant, and you see sometimes that sometimes their behavior is just off, and also you are a well-off amongst your children, you are the one who's helping because you are maybe an empath so you care more than the other siblings so she might want to be closer to you for that reason just so, so she can get the benefits out of you but she will not be able to to actually hide that you're not her favorite she will always show that she has a favorite even if you are the one who's taking care of her So these are the kind of mothers also, if you grew up uh, raised by them only without a father figure in the family or without your biological father, you find that maybe you've never met your father and she always dodged the question, who is my father? Where is my father? So every time when you have to ask her about those questions, she kind of give you uh, negative vibes. She doesn't want to give you answers. She doesn't want to give you at least a lead to actually like start somewhere to start looking for your father. So they will hide that from you. They don't want you to find your father because they feel that if you find your father maybe you're going to have a strong bond with him and then possibly you will get to know other things about that about her that you might not know because you only know one side of a story and remember she plays a victim so you only know sad stories about her how she was abused how she was mistreated and all those things but when it comes to you and your feelings and you wanting to know your father it's going to be a whole different story she might even start crying or if she doesn't start crying 
or busting out, she was just start throwing a foot, you know, just getting angry at you for no reason when you are just simply asking to know your father. So then you just know that you're dealing with a narcissistic mother. <sighs> Okay, so this is another thing a narcissistic mother do. It does. A narcissistic mother will actually, a narcissistic mother will do this. They tend to like to talk badly about your siblings to you and also do the same thing to them. So when she's with these other siblings, she will talk badly about you. They will discuss you and talk about all the things that are happening with you. And which are badly officially they're not gonna tell you on your face but as soon as she is with you she will play a miss nice person to you and talk badly about these other siblings to you it will never be something nice that oh this person even if it is something nice but there's always gonna be a, a habit of actually talking matters that are intimate and private maybe that the other siblings spoke or, or had a conversation with her but she will feel a need that she needs to talk to you about it and like not in a, in a neck in a positive way like like if we are to give her or him an advice what would you do what would you say so that i can go back and give it to her it wouldn't be something like that but it would be like really literally bashing them talking bad about them talking bad about their decisions and how they live their lives and if you might not know this that she does this also on you but the fact that she does that on you talking about your siblings badly to you means that she is doing the same thing as well to them so that's what narcissistic mother too. Another thing that a narcissistic mother will do is that they will take without a limit. They, they feel entitled to your things. They feel entitled to your money, to your material, to all the hard work that you have. They feel as if it is theirs as well, just because they gave birth to you, even if they never contributed in anything on your all your hard work and your in the rewards and the fruits of that you are now are reaping out of your hard work they will automatically feel just because they are they, they are your mother that they are entitled to your stuff that's what they do and the problem with the narcissistic mothers is that they will take without throwing a limit so if you're kind of a person who gives without boundaries you're going to have a problem there because they will never have a limit until you create boundaries and actually create a limit and say what well, you know what i'm going to give you up to this point beyond this i am not going to be responsible for you otherwise if you don't do that they will always take 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 until you feel drained exhausted and and possibly depressed at the end of the day because they want to throw the prop their problems at you all the time so you always feel a need that you need to fix their problems of which is not supposed to be that way and the last one that you need to know is that narcissistic parents never get satisfied you can actually lay yourself down on the ground and let them walk on top of you they'll still complain that you're not soft enough narcissistic mothers you can try to please them make them happy surprise them buy them stuff take them out do all the things that they've never done in their lifetime thinking that maybe you are giving them the best life ever or that maybe you are creating a bond but to them it will mean Competition. The fact that you are able to do all those things for her and she was never able to do those things for her mother or anyone for that matter, it is kind of going to sit badly on her heart. You might see that you are in this most beautiful place. You've, you've actually um, planned a beautiful thing for her and she's there by body, but you can see the, the energy that she's giving is actually not matching the energy that you were having when you were creating this whole thing. So you will always have signs, but sometimes we tend to just turn a blind eye to those signs because they are our mother you know what i mean they are our mother naturally you don't expect your mother to have negative feelings about you so the best thing that you can do when you're dealing with a narcissistic mother is that you need to put yourself first whether you have started family already or not even if it's just you you need to put yourself first if you see that you are giving and you are not being appreciated and all your hard work is just taken for granted stop literally stop and you will see, just drop a ball just once, if not twice. Just stop doing the things that you've been doing just once and see how they're going to react. And if they throw a foot, a foot and they act crazy and they complain, then that's when you will realize that, okay, so they don't appreciate me when I'm doing it. But when I stop, it, kind of, it, it becomes obvious that I've stopped. So you're going to start seeing all those signs. But if you're dealing with a narcissistic mother, I'll actually advise you to actually cut at the board a little bit of course they cannot be fixed this is who they are this is what 
I don't know what made them to be this way. Some of them, I don't know, there are still some, some studies and searches. People are still saying different theories, but this is who they are. What I know is that what they are cannot be fixed unless they choose that they want to be fixed or they want to change. It, is, it has to come from them, but most of them, they actually do not change. They do not see a need to change because they've been this way all their lives. So the only thing that you can do is to actually just limit the time that you spend with them. Always give yourself first. Give because you want to and expect no appreciation. Expect no nothing. Just do it because you want to and you feel like I'm just doing it for myself, for my own karma. Because what you do, what you take out actually comes back. Do it for yourself and don't expect anything from them. And whatever that happens, just know that this person is a narcissist. There's nothing I can do about it. Just nurture yourself, take care of yourself, take time away from them as much as you can. Don't always be in their faces because that's when they get to take advantage of you. So I hope that this video did help guys. Um, if you have not subscribed to this channel, please do press subscribe button and press a, like, a thumbs up button down below and a notification bell so that you can be notified every time I upload a new video. So guys, thank you so much for staying tuned in. All I can say is from me to you. All I can say is I'll see you on the flip side. Bye.